Hello everybody, it's Jonathan, Senior Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County, and uh, I bid you welcome. Um, I am coming to you from the North Country. We're doing a remote, and it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we're not in the showroom, obviously. It feels great to be outdoors, and um, this is important for me because I haven't done anything like this in well over a year. A couple of reasons for that. Um, yes, one of them has to do with um, um, the shitty pandemic, but compounding matters last uh, summer we had to uh, we were selling our house so cause of smoke the smoke lab um, really wasn't set up anymore to do videos and talk about grilling smoke and searing whatever I mean it was more like my wife telling me to get all these freaking grills out of the yard and get your ass ready to move so that's what last summer was about as well as dealing with um, COVID and um, what I'm happy to say we've landed and uh, um, there's going to be a sh shitload of videos coming your way. Um, and I'm just thinking about this right now. My wife has warned me about uh, the cursing on, on, on video. And um, she's like, it's going to embarrass the family, embarrass the kids. Um, well, she's away for the next three days with the kids. So we're just going to improvise and let it flow. I want to dedicate this video to all of the folks that I've dealt with in the last few years who've come into Rang, come into Curdo's and just said, hey, just get me a grill without a rotisserie. Or they, they say, is there an option to get this grill without the rotisserie? And I've always said to them, ah, do you really want to go down that road? Ah, it's too much of a mess. I'm never going to use it. Okay, whatever. I get it. But then when you actually do spin food, on your, uh, on your gas grill or you're using one of the, uh, and now the Kamado Joe and the Primo both give you the option to use a rotisserie on their, um, on their devices. Um, I mean, there's just nothing, absolutely nothing like it. And I've told folks that the best chicken I've ever had in my life spun on the rotisserie, the best steak I've ever had in my life. Every New Year's Day, I try to spin a three bone prime rib either on the, uh, the Kamado Joe or the Alfresco. And, um, but I've gotten away from all that because I didn't cook really in the last year because I was so busy, you know, between moving and then all, and then all the bullshit, you know, that I'm dealing with at work on a day-to-day -day basis and just so busy, which is a wonderful thing, but procuring product and supply chain bottlenecks and all this other garbage, you know, you don't really, I mean, I certainly have had very, very, there have been rare moments where I've been able to get on the camera and talk. There's been a few videos in the winter, but certainly for me to do long cooks and start talking about what I'm doing outside on a culinary tip, it's just been impossible, but that's gonna change now. Um, so anyway, this weekend I had the, um, I had the fortune of being, uh, uh, invited, I was invited over to somebody's house and um, they decided to make a chicken on the Alfresco ALXE42, which is actually this, this puppy right over here. And that's the bad boy that, I mean, so many of my videos were crushed on that grill. Um, they have the same grill, but it's an ALXE42 CD, meaning it's on the deluxe cart and there's no sear burner, there's no Hellfire burner in it. And, she, and she's like, um, it's actually my mom. She's like, um, hey, I'm gonna make a chicken. I'm gonna throw it in the tray. I go, no put it on the alfresco and spin it. And that's what she did. And this is what it looked like. And what it looks like actually, I mean, as mind blowing as that is, that can't even touch what it tasted like. I'm talking about that caramelized skin that was so tasty, yet when you got to the interior, the white meat was so succulent, so juicy. You know how it's usually like, ah, with poultry, there's a fight for the, the legs, the dark meat. There's more taste. Bullshit. Not when, you roti not when you spin it. Not when you hit the rotisserie because your protein is spinning and it's self-basting and is total next level psychedelic. You have to do it. And I asked her, I said, how much? She, she never used it before. And I just said, was this a pain in the neck? Like, no, it's really simple. We just stuck those forks in and then she did use butcher twine to, to really make the um, uh, make a very firm fit. And I think she said one time she did have to tighten up the uh, the prongs. 
But other than that, I mean, it spun for about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. I don't know if she even used the rotisserie burner, but look at this. You got the drip pan that they give you. She has like a lemon sauce, some type of vibe going on there. She's based, I mean, it was just ridiculous. So all I'm saying to you is, please don't come in anymore and just say, can I have a grill without a rotisserie? You have no idea how you are shortchanging yourself. It's ridiculous. It'll actually, it'll, it'll change the way you cook, all right? And that's all I have to say. This is a very brief, succinct, pithy video. Take it or leave it, but remember to spin it. Thank you very much. Peace out. If you guys need grills, outdoor kitchens, outdoor living, please visit us at The Ring. Go online, rofgrills.com. Call, email, whatever it is. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.